Welcome to this week's HR short story. Today's topic is time management. One of the tools we discussed is the aggregation of marginal gains. The aggregation of marginal gain is the concept that we look at everything we do in human resources and improve it by a tiny margin. When we do this, it will have an overall impact on our organization. Yeah, absolutely. It you know, and I've I've seen that in in real play uh, as I managed an HR department once also. Yeah, well, well how did that happen? I, I you told me that story, uh, but let's go back to that story, Chuck, and tell me a little bit more. It sounds like you were like the big boss in HR. You had like lots of people <laughs> underneath you. The big boss, sure. So I'm the manager of employment and staffing at Universal Studios in Orlando. And we had to hire 3,000 people because we were going through a major expansion. We were adding a new theme park called the Islands of Adventure. We were adding a whole nighttime entertainment complex called City Walk. We had a giant parking structure. And at that point in time, it was about a three to one margin, three and a half to one of interviews to actual hires. And then, of course, we would lose people uh, in the way. So we were interviewing probably 10 to 12,000 people in a short time span. But John, that was before electronic hiring. Everything was paper, <laughs> paper, paper, paper. And we would make copies and everything was white paper. And we had 21 recruiters, 10 offices, a bunch of cubicles. We had a storage room and a back storage room and file cabinets, sometimes in the hallways and stacks of paper, rubber okay. bandits say need to file, file soon, whatever you would like. But it was all white paper. And every once in a while, someone would come in for their second interview and we couldn't find the application because why? The application was white <laughs> and all the other paperwork in a yeah. sea of white paper. Yeah. And it was literally an all hands on deck. We would be running around everyone looking for that one application. We're talking 10, 15 recruiters and coordinators running around until one day I got the idea. Why don't we make the application another color? And so I pushed this idea, but the records department, Audrey and Sue, they, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they were in charge of records. They said, no, the applications need to be white because when we make copies, and we make copies in the records department. If the application is a different color, the app, the, the the copies come out hazy and gray because, you know. So one day I'm, I'm making a copy and wouldn't you know it, it was a yellow piece of paper and I needed to make a copy of it. I made it and when it came out, it was pure, clear, white and black, just like a copier. In other words, there's no gray, there's nothing haziness. Eureka, we made all of our applications pale yellow. So within a couple of weeks, if all around the place there's seas of white, but you'd see yellow pieces of paper stuck here and there, those were applications. Anytime we lost an application, and I got to tell you, after that, we never really lost an application. We might have yeah. misplaced it, but we always found it. We saved so much time by that one little tweak. Uh, I should have won an award. You should have. I, I'm going to give you an award. I'm going to give you the Aggregation of Marginal Gains Award, uh, right? Because you did exactly what the concept's about. You found one thing that if you improve it just a little bit, it's going to have a positive effect on the whole recruiting process in this case, right? It made it better. There was probably less stress, less tension, and you just did it one thing. So ladies and gentlemen, to learn more, listen to this week's HR Story podcast, where there is a lesson in the story of time.